First of all, why do we grow these things? Mainly because beards are awesome. I would agree with you wholeheartedly, except for the fact that they weren't awesome in the 90s. So obviously it has something to do with cultural trends. And like any trend, it's cyclical. You know, the love for the woolly face mammoth was around in the 60s with hippies, and then it evolved into the 70s with business people and even politicians. And then it went away in like the mid to late 80s, 90s was gone, we got the ugly little, you know, deal like that, the goatee. The first step to breaking any addiction even that of following trends comes with admitting that you follow trends. Like all trends, they change over time. And based on our quickly changing, fast-paced society, you got about another three to six years to really hold on to this woolly face, man, but then enjoy the heck out of it. Some people follow the trend longer than others. If you've gone from looking like a chihuahua to a Pomeranian, we're not about to go with the dry shave on this. We need to be covered by something that looks like Cool Whip, smells like Irish Spring, and tastes like Ugh. Rat poison. Oh, that's bad. Don't eat it. We should be surrounded and covered by people who love us. Really be there for you in a pinch. Not just your Facebook friends, Twitter followers, Instagram people, Instagrammers, but your actual friends and family. People who love you the most. Just be careful. Sometimes when people are familiar with you and they love you so much, they also can smother you. And that can be, let's just say hazardous, not comfortable at all, because likes to breathe. Yeah. Love you, fam. Back off a little. Back off. There we go. Okay. When you've been following the trend longer than most, like I have, you need to not go down with the grain, but more so up against the grain to really, really get a clean cut. Conquer these areas that are straight and easier, not quite as scary for you at first. You gotta take it one step at a time. Don't overdo yourself. Oh man, would you look at that? That's nasty. All coming off, baby. I'm ready for a change. But in areas where you're uncomfortable going up against the green, give yourself a pass. Go down with the green there. That's totally okay. You gotta start somewhere. You can't expect yourself to be totally independent of this all at once. You gotta be real careful when you go around these corners and like, it's easy to get banged up. A few nicks and bruises. Cuts. <laughs> that's my share. But that's okay. When life knocks you down, you get one of those cuts on your chin, and you're really feeling it, it's nothing a little dry tissue gets off. It doesn't always look good after the shaving process, but once you clear out the, ooh, clear out the carnage. Newer, fresher me. So that's what the mammoth looks like when he's no longer woolly. You think I look younger? Hopefully the director does. Oh, just like we surrounded ourselves with friends and loved ones before we got rid of the trend, sometimes we gotta do the same thing afterwards. Good friends will help you not only get through the process, but they'll help keep you from going back to it. Whew! It may burn a little bit, but that's okay because it's burns the little nicks because it's preventing you from future infection. Most importantly, I hope you not only enjoyed the video, but that you really got the message behind it all. That though it's cool to follow trends, sometimes you gotta go your own direction and be comfortable in your own skin. As always, my name is Will Crown and I'm here to help you get to the next level in your dad hustle.